Captain Chris Hearn has commanded ships all over the world. Now, in the world's first ever full-scale simulation, he'll take command on board a virtual Titanic to put the movie version to the test. Here's what really happened on the night of the disaster. The team have factored in another piece of key data. Records show Titanic managed to turn exactly 21 degrees to the left as she approached the bird. The virtual Titanic follows the same course. Her crew prayed it would be enough to avoid disaster. We almost just cleared. The helm was put over, the engines were stopped, the vessel had just started to work its way clear of the iceberg, and unfortunately it caught it on the, uh, on the fine on the starboard bow. The collision happens at exactly 52 seconds, less than half the time it took in the movie. It wasn't a mile, as the movie suggests, but instead just 640 yards. 